Do I have some kind of Android market on the uh, device then? No, it's not. Uh, so how do are you installing the apps on it? So we are downloading it from the internet and download it and, and install the APK. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you can see that we are sharing the position of the car with the Android machine, so it's uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. there is still some so communication possible. We actually get a GPS signal in Android here. Yeah. Then we have uh, YouTube is nice. Uh, and that, that's also uh, something we implemented uh, very safely, is that even though there is a crash in the Android machine, it doesn't crash the old system, so it's uh -huh. completely sandboxed, as you say. Because that's very important for OEM, is that if they allow someday to have an Android application in the car, yeah. for sure they don't want that it has impact on the safety in the mm -hmm. car. Is the virtual machine also supporting hardware acceleration then? Uh, currently, can support OpenGL, yeah. so for uh, 3D stuff. Okay. But uh, for the um, for the video and uh, audio, um, it normally it will support like uh, OpenMax uh, IM API. Yeah. But currently, it's not. So and you can also have a web radio, for example. Okay. So you see the song is working it. Yeah, yeah it's looking quite promising. Yeah, we think so. So what kind of processor is this? Of processor? It's uh, it's running on uh, NVIDIA Tegra 2. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's ARM technology. Yeah, it's, um, so it's a technology which is already available, so it's not yeah. some fancy yeah, chip. Right, yeah. It's a dual core ARM line with a GPU. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Okay, I'm